The Dyson is a tier 9 Japanese dockyard battle cruiser that was likely created because Wargaming was running out of ideas for a dockyard ship. This long ass boy is essentially just a super length and Nagato with a few units, or a Maggie without the third turret. Either way it shares the same broadside as its tier 7 cousin, and Dyson is a tier 9. I think you could see one of the problems. Continuing on with the guns, despite its light broadside weight it still can pack a punch. When you aim it correctly of course. Despite it saying that it's good on paper, the dispersion can be a bit trolly sometimes. To properly aim with these guns, you must aim slightly below the waterline as Dyson's guns eat the shells above or below the target, though the reload time is 27 seconds base, so you should be fine with a few misses. Moving on to the torpedoes. They are your standard 10 km Japanese torps. Like basically every Japanese battleship with torpedoes, they are situational, only useful during brawling situations. I'm not sure what else to say about them. Not gonna even bother talking about the secondaries in case, if I put a fuck load of our Maggie propaganda in it. It has the same secondary gun count as said tier 8 battle croissant, but with the Brandenburg treatment, an extra 127mm mount per side. In case you haven't known yet the 140mms have the same dispersion formula as the 127s found on the American brawler ships Massachusetts, Georgia, and Ohio. As this is a gigantic ass boat, you must do the super unicum strategy of kiting when necessary. It is the fastest battleship without taking brisk, speed boost and speed flag into account. Additionally the rudder shift is quite good, actually better than all of the same tier Japanese battleships, except Iwami. Oh wait it's been like 2 minutes and I haven't talked about the consumables yet. You get your standard Japanese battleship damage control party, that's about it. Next is the repair party. You only have 3 instead of the standard 4, which if you somehow don't know yet is a concern. As such emergency repair expert is mandatory. Finally, we have the spotter. Its base action time lasts slightly longer than a completely maximumed out Borgone speed boost. I'm not even joking. If you put spotter mod on this thing you would have a 5 minute spotter. As such, you basically have a controllable range mod. Welp I'm fucking done. Wait oh come on do I have to before you use your chopstick. You must put the following equipment. Main battery modification 1. Damakin. Aiming system modification 1. Damakin to electric boogaloo. Concealment. Finally reload mod. Though you can swap main battery mod and Damakin 2 for spotter and prop mod respectively. Just for dummies. For the captain, put preventative maintenance. Grease the gears. Adrenaline rush. Concealment and emergency repair expert. Afterwards you can choose between the standard basics of survivability and fire prevention or swap fire prevention for brisk and brio target. Maybe put Yamamoto on for extra memory. Well, I'm finally done with this quote unquote guide. If you somehow enjoyed this video please consider subscribing. Alright see you. Can I tank them? I just tanked the full torpedo salvo fucking four. Don't kill me! You fucking bastard!